So this is my after surgery story of lower back disc herniation uh, problems that I've had and uh, and how surgery uh, went. So a little history. I hurt my back over 15 years ago lifting on a job the wrong way. Uh, it affected two lower discs in my back and I've dealt with the pain ever since then. When I did it, I met with a surgeon. Uh, I was probably about 20 years old and he had said that I was too young to do surgery on. Uh, so I did physical therapy, uh, which relieved the pain uh, for many years. Uh, I just think it was bulging discs at the time. Um, all the way up until about six months ago, uh, things got worse. They started to flare up more frequently and lasted longer than a few days. This last time, I went a straight month, or maybe a little over, of non-stop pain. Uh, nothing relieved it. I was so stiff down both back of my legs, like my hamstrings, uh, unable to walk normal, if I could walk at all. Putting a shoe or sock on was uh, pretty much impossible. Driving was horrible. The only relief I found was if I was able to walk long enough to stretch out those muscles. I could continue to walk with some discomfort, but it felt a lot better than sitting or doing anything else. Uh, the only other relief I found was laying flat on a hard surface, hardwood floor, flat on my back, which is where I slept. Um, for over a week prior to my surgery so it was very uncomfortable nothing was relieving it uh, the MRI showed that I had a herniation in one of the discs it was actual L4 L5 area is where my herniation was uh, it had began to affect my right side uh, of my back and also my leg a little um, the MRI did show that it was herniated toward the right side, which was where my pain was coming from. I contacted the Laser Spine Institute in Oklahoma City, which is four hours from where I live. Um, I was pretty much approved over phone and emails due to my MRI and my history. I had not had surgery before on this or really anything at all. Um, so I was really nervous about the surgery. Uh, they set me up about a week out after my final uh, phone conversation. Uh, I did have to be there for a full week in Oklahoma City. The Monday of that week was doctor's appointments, exams, physicals. Uh, they sent me for a new MRI which was really good because I think some things had changed uh, since the previous MRI that I had sent them and x-rays. So Tuesday morning, met with the surgeon. He approved my surgery, told me that uh, I was a candidate and he believed he could help my pain. Gave me about an 80 to 85 percent chance of relief which he said he never quotes anyone over over 85 or 90. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, Wednesday was left doing nothing just because um, they scheduled my surgery for Thursday ahead of time. So it was a lot of time to think, a lot of time to be nervous. Um, like I said, I've never had surgery, so it was a, a first. Um, so it's pretty scary. But the pain that I was dealing with every day was... was unbearable. I was at a breaking point and just could not do anything. You could, I just couldn't live. So Thursday morning, July 29th was my surgery. They got me in about 12 o'clock. Took about an hour or so. I woke up um, feeling pain still. So I was, I was scared that it did not help me. Um, but the nurse that was sitting with me when I woke up explained that it was like when you slam your finger on a car door and you open the door, your finger's throbbing. 
that's kind of the way she explained my nerves because the disc was pinching on my nerves for so long relieving that left them somewhat throbbing uh, they make you sit in there for an hour or so until you can get something down as far as liquid and use the restroom I did that they wheeled me out in a wheelchair to my wife's car and I stood up straight for the first time in over months uh, with no pain so I Right then, I, I, I could feel the first sign of relief. Got in the car, go back to the hotel. That night, I was walking around, taking full strides, which I hadn't done in a very long time, wearing a brace that they give you, but I had no pain. If I had any kind of discomfort, it was just from the incision, but it wasn't a pain. You could just tell something was there. The next day, Friday, was my post-op exam, they just went in and looked at my uh, incisions, made sure all that was good, and it was, and made sure I was not feeling pain, and I wasn't. They sent us home, which was a four-hour car ride back to my hometown. The only thing I've taken since the surgery is uh, Flexeril, which is a muscle relaxer that they told me to take for the drive, and I've taken it a time or two since I've been home just for precaution, along with wearing my brace and putting ice around the incision. So right now, I am walking, I'm standing straight, I have no pain where I had pain before. There's no pain in my lower back, there's no pain no, on any of my legs, my muscles don't feel tight. i uh, very successful, I'm five days uh, out of surgery, so today's August 2nd, and um, I'm hoping it continues. The rest is up to me as far as the physical part of doing the restrictions they tell you to and not lifting or bending different ways. Um, I am able to drive, which I've driven uh, two times so far in the last two days. No pain, uh, which is very good. So um, my doctor was Dr. Neese in Oklahoma City. Everyone at the facility there treated us great. It was a great experience. Um, do your research if you're looking at back surgery. It's not for everyone, but I had no choice that I felt left to do, so that's what I looked into. Uh, if you have any questions, comment, or anything, uh, I'd be glad to answer. Um, everyone's different, so people have reacted different to surgery. So this is my story, and I feel that it did me very well. So um, thanks, and I hope this helps.